minutes ago. Mike Emanuel with the news on Capitol Hill. It, that, that is my understanding of the br sort of broad framework of this. Is this right? Well, Shep, my understanding as well is that they're essentially trying to have the Russians put up or shut up. And I've talked to some senators who were at lunch with the president of the United States earlier today, and they say the president told them that he wants to give this Russian proposal more time at the U.N. Security Council. So it sounds like there will not be a vote on the use of force resolution, which was struggling here on Capitol Hill uh, any time this week. Uh, the president does believe that the threat of the use of force makes a diplomatic solution more likely. Uh, but at this point, he wants to at least give that a little bit more time to see if it's legit or whether this is the Russians playing games. Uh, bottom line, I've heard from some senators that the president believes if the use of force is necessary, he has great faith and confidence that the U.S. military can do it successfully. Uh, one Democratic senator who is floating an alternative to the use of force immediately talked about the president's discussions after meeting with the uh, Democratic senators. I think the president is very receptive to that, but he understands that he wants to keep his, uh, his finger on the uh, pulse, if you will, and, and on the trigger if needed. So bottom line, it sounds like the president realizes he has a steep hill to climb in terms of winning over public opinion, doesn't think one speech tonight is going to do that, so he's looking for an alternative, wants to give the Russian proposal some time, but you heard the mention there from Senator Manchin, keeping the finger on the trigger, uh, essentially making sure the Syrians feel that force could be an option at some point, Chef. Now, these senators coming together with this new plan, my understanding is they believe that timing is of the essence, that they would want to allow the Syrians a matter of days, not weeks, to prove that they can go along with this proposal as the Russians were laying it out. But it's my understanding, Mike, that part of this was that there would be not a U.N. Security Council resolution, but a statement of the president that laid out all of these things, but it would be conditional upon the United States, all of a sudden we learn, that the United States forego the use of force. That, that's not a starting point for the United States. So is that the reason, potentially, that the U.N. Security Council's uh, emergency meeting was canceled for 20 minutes from now? Uh, there may be that there is a big di disagreement between what the U.S. wants and what the Russians and some of the others are willing to do at this point. What I've heard from these senators who are working on this new Gang of Eight plan, if you will, is that they want to make sure that those chemical weapons are re removed from Syria under a certain timetable, uh, and that they want to make sure that there is a vote in the U.N. to say that the regime did use chemical weapons on its own people, hold them accountable at the U.N. If any of that doesn't happen, then they want the option that the commander-in-chief has the possibility of using military force. And maybe that's a non-starter with the Russians or the Chinese, but uh, we're certainly working it on that angle, uh, the diplomatic angle, trying to figure that out. But uh, my understanding is that this Gang of Eight is still in discussions. It's not been written out in legislative language, but that's what I've heard from uh, both Republicans and Democrats trying to work this issue. Mike, I think we just got played. Let me lay out the facts to you. Not that you don't already know this, but just so the viewers are along for the ride with us. Sure. The Russians said, we have a plan. And that plan involves all the things we've been talking about. The U.N. Security Council is about to hold an emergency meeting in one hour. And one hour before that, the Russians went on national television in Russia and said, oh, yeah, and by the way, this plan will include the United States and all of its allies foregoing use of weapons, foregoing the use of the military against Syria. In the next paragraph, the Russian President Vladimir Putin said that in addition to that, Sure, the Syrians have never admitted that they have weapons of mass destruction, but they've always considered their chemical weapons a balance, if you will, an, equal, an equalizer for the, for the weapons that the Israelis have, for the nuclear weapons that the Israelis have. They never intended for this thing to go through without the United States foregoing the possibility of using military. That, that's a non-starter, Mike. I think we've just wasted 24 solid hours and we've not made one bit of progress, not one centimeter of progress. The Russians just blew hard and blew us right off course. Well, it makes you wonder what the President of the United States is going to say to the American people tonight with this ever-changing situation. What do you tell the American people we are going to do? Do you think the Russian uh, possibility is anything serious? Or is it a joke? Is it Vladimir Putin saying, I've got Syria's back and I'm not really serious about solving this issue? And so I'm sure the president's speechwriters are not having a good time at the moment. I'm confident that they are extremely busy.
Mike, thank you very much. One thing Thanks, we've gotten sir. confirmed while Mike was talking, the president has indeed asked for a delay on the vote to authorize the use of force in Syria. That, that has been confirmed by Fox News, and the president is asking them for a delay. Why was he doing that? Well, we have this peace proposal, this possibility that all of a sudden the Russians who have gotten in the way of everything, the Russians would not even declare that, would not even ask for a resolution that declared that the Syrian government should stop murdering its own people. They wouldn't even go that far. The Russians have gone so far as to say it's not the Russian Syrian government that's, that has gassed its own people. It's the rebels who gassed themselves. That's been the Russian proposal. And in the middle of that, in mid-Russian sentence along that line, the Russians say, wait, 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 we have a peace plan now. The Syrians are going to give up all their chemical weapons. And the Syrians go, yep, we're going to do that. And he goes, look, let's have a United Nations Security Council vote. Sure, the president delays the vote over there in the Congress. We're going to wait. Peace plan, peace plan. An hour before the U.N. votes on such a matter, we get the word that President Putin says, yeah, but United States, you have to forego the use of military force if this is going to work. That's where we are in the United States of America, the most powerful country on earth. The Russians just threw a head fake, and we bit. And we'll be right back.